Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Bludgeon figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at all the accessories that come with him and how you can use them. We're going to have a look and compare him against the original owner of this mould. And of course we can do some comparisons with him, his original Generation 1 self and the other figures of him that have been released in the Generations toy line as well. So as I start to pop all these away, I'd like to remind anybody who's not hit that subscribe button, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. And the other thing is to thank In Demand Toys in the UK, because that's where I purchase this from. And as you can see, they got him to me quickly and safely. Right, before we have a quick look at the figure, we've got to look at the box, because this box is beautiful. The artwork there is simply stunning. So this is based, like it says there, Comic Universe. So this is how I think he appears in the 2021 comic. Uh, there is his alternate mode, which is of course the tank there is the legacy evolution artwork that we've obviously come to see loads of on the back we can see that he's going to take 27 steps to transform the evo fusion gimmick is the fact that you can combine the co uh, the cannons and there again is some fantastic artwork of the entire figure and just the bust there so i suppose this one's probably the most anticipated or the most wanted out of this wave uh, if you think i'm completely wrong please let me know in the comments uh, but bludgeon's such a great great character and it's really quite surprising that he's only had you know a couple of other figures made one of course was a subscription service and the other was the little power of the primes one i've just shown you uh the figure itself though uh, if we have a look at the head sculpt is stunning i thought it might be light piping but it's not it is just a deep red inside there and obviously there's nothing on the back either the um, articulation on it is it's quite stiff but it will look up and down it will twist side to side so full articulation there the arms will go out to the side and the shoulders will go all the way around as well as the swivel um, at the bicep the flexion at the bicep um, and indeed a wrist swivel as well. So fully articulated arms and shoulders, waist swivel. Um, you can pretty much say that's an ab crunch as well. I know that's mainly for transformation process, but look, it is. He's definitely doing an ab crunch. We've already seen the swivel. The hips, again, will go right out to the side as far as they're not hindered. And the same as front, it'll actually kick higher past the 90 and indeed further back as well. You've got your knee bend, uh, you've got your hip swivel, and of course your ankle tilt and rocks. So overall, fully articulate, looking really good. There's your two cannons in question. I'm loving the translucent orange in it. Um, and to be honest, I should have picked that up on here as well when we're looking at the details. The chest looks amazing. Decepticon logo there. Lovely use of translucent orange around the chest. Um, and the colour scheme just tends to work. The silver's popping. It is a different colour to this grey. It's nice and reflective. Same as on the fists. It looks like you've got about four or five at least three different grey stroke black colours. It's crazy, but it just seems to really work. So we've got the two cannons, which can be held in his hands, uh, or you can mount them to that and stick it on his back. And we've got the newly added, beautiful looking samurai saw that is, of course, very soft and indeed quite flexible. So it's not sharp and it's not sturdy enough, I would imagine, to, to hurt a sibling or anybody. Uh, like that to be honest that's all there is to really say with regards to first impressions we're going to do the comparisons and see how he looks with his accessories um in the later part of the video but for now let's have a look at him in his alternate mode okay then we're back and as you can see he's already in his alternate mode quick apologies for no transformation process on this video main reason is to keep the length of the video down and the other is not to spoil it for people who don't want to see it and i've also uploaded a separate tutorial video which to be honest um i've had quite a lot of issues with this as i was transforming him so although as we've said it's the same mold as the tarn one apart from a different head sculpt i've had quite a few issues that i want to show you um as i'm transforming him like getting the head to fit in there because of the new helmet and indeed, some of these just kept popping off. But you'll see that in more detail in the transformation process. But let's look at this. Colour scheme, again, is brilliant. It does look really, really good. Again, you can see you've got the reflective sort of silvery gunmetal grey or metal, whatever you want to call it there, colours that work really well. That, of course, was his chest. There's the translucent orange. That is looking spectacular. Uh, you can attach the sword. I'm going to just copy the picture just for the first part and then of course i'm going to take it off we're going to have a look at other things that we can do with it then we've got this this is going to be mounted into via there the top 
of this like so and then you can attach these let's see how they've got it so they've got oh, they're both the same are they both the same e pretty much no they're not they're different because of the way that the thing is on the side so this has got the raised part coming out of this side i'm gonna go for it in this particular hole what i do like about these and i keep saying about these figures is the fact that there is so many five millimeter ports so you can completely have a play around mm -hmm. attach loads of different bits etc and that looks really really good absolutely nothing like his generation one incarnation but of course remember this is his idw comic universe appearance and he's much much bigger as well um, I've got a deluxe drag strip to give you an idea. Now, this is quite a long deluxe figure anyway. Uh, but obviously, height-wise, you'll see in a second when we go back that he is much, much bigger in his height. Um, let's have a look at what else he's got on him. Of course, you can rotate this all the way around if you wanted to. You could then take this off if you wanted to. You could attach it to the top. You could get as many different 5mm, uh, I suppose, accessories if you wanted to, you've got an absolute abundance of ports, two on either side of the treads, uh, one either side of the back part. Um, of course, if you wanted to, you can just take these off, perhaps, and pop them on the side of, like this. And then, of course, attach other different accessories. Like So these would be brilliant for your junkions, um, etc. And I think this is going to look quite good as well, to be honest. There you go. That doesn't look too bad. It's just made it look a little bit thicker. And of course, you can still move these all around as well. So it's it's a good alternate mode. I liked it when it was tarn. Um, as I say, it's for me, it's it's not my bludgeon. I'm used to him looking like this, but I do like it. I think the colour scheme works. And overall, it just looks really, really nice. I suppose it's a bit more colour scheme like this, isn't it? With that orange, but obviously not that purple at all. But I think that's all there is to say about him in his alternate mode. Let's come back, have a look at him in his robot mode and see how we can use all of his accessories and do some comparisons. OK, then back for the final time in the robot mode, which is beautiful. And it is, of course, the mode in which I'm going to be displaying here. So I'm going to pop the sword in first and foremost. Um, and I'm useless at posing figures and doing dynamic things. But obviously, with what I showed you with regards to how articulate he is, he really is very, very good for posing. You could obviously, of course, do the bowing, etc. With all the other normal samurai moves that you can do with this, just to his range of art articulation i'm going to attach these to the back again so around the back here you're now going to attach it in via the port rather than the tabs if you remember in the alternate mode it was via the tabs so we can bring these in and if you go at the top it's going to give you the ability as well to just sort of turn and angle these which is how i think i'm going to do it to be honest because he's got of course the extra sword in his hand in his hands anyway let's say they've got him on the box um, I can't even tell where it is on the box there. It must be behind somewhere, but I can't see it. I'm going to show you the Evo Fusion mode in a way as well. But I think in general, when he's on the shelf, I might have to turn it up like that. So he's not taking up too much space. But that's pretty much how I am going to be displaying him. Before we take them off and do the Evo Fusion, it's probably right that I bring these in now because it's very similar um, to what I've got obviously with the back of the tarn one I put them lower down which you can do of course you can take these off you can put them lower down if you wanted to so they're not as obtrusive at the top uh, there we go or you could even have them lower you can have completely tucked out of the way if you want so you could take them off reverse the reverse the way they're facing so again you can have it halfway up or all the way down so you can completely cover these if you do want to i've took them off just for now because i'm going to of course show you the evo fusion to be honest i just noticed the little gap in the back of the feet that's the only gap that i think i've noticed on this figure uh, so overall again i suppose this is again one of the main reasons why we're getting the voyager price point for him so here are the two guns and of course you use that tab there and then you can of course in fact let's take this out of there let's pop this in this hand <clears throat> And will it work? I'm sure it, you can. I'm sure I've seen images of it. Yeah, there we go. I just need to turn the orientations around like so. Giant gun carried there like so. And of course, you can attach this to the back if you wanted to. To be fair, I'd probably have it facing down. 
Let's see if I can pop it in. Oh, typical. That's because it's spinning round. I'm going to very quickly attach it there. Then if it doesn't go straight in, I'm going to finish the rest. No, it's gone in. So there we go. Let me just take these out. Let's do some more comparisons then. So with original generation one self, there we go. And if, for those of you who don't know, I see he was a pretender. So that's his inner robot self. And then we've already seen the inner robot tank. So you can see how they've cleverly made a hybrid out of the robot, the tank and the inner robot, all in one with that figure. It's very, very good. This little guy, I don't really have anything to say about him. With regards to some other figures in the toy line, there is Deluxe Strongarm. So he looks good there. Here's another little core class figure, which you can see will fit in there and give you an idea of indeed the size of this figure. Again, just a very quick G1 reference. Let's bring in a mini bot. And of course, good old Optimus Prime. And then for those of you who collect uh, third party figures and you're maybe thinking this guy looks really good and you want to add him to your one collection of Wonder Egg Big Ears, New Age. Uh, where are they all? Dr. Wu. He won't work with Dr. Wu, he's huge. Um, Iron Factory and Magic Square. But hopefully, I've done this guy some justice. He is really good, as I say, just be more aware of the transformation. That's why I put it in a separate video with the head getting um, stuck, etc. But in the meantime, this is Legacy Evolution uh, Voyager class bludgeon, and I think he is great. It is another brilliant use of that fantastic mold. And the colour scheme on it just makes it look, I know what it sounds really silly, but like a completely different figure. So there you go, guys. I really like him. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. And of course, take care.